Um, this, I guess, might be sound a little abstract until we actually look at the code. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, in this program, uh, I defined a table this way. Uh, you'll notice that I did not say, um, quote, open parenthesis, star, table, star, close parenthesis, because we're going to mutate this table, and you're not allowed to mutate quoted lists. You can quote the elements of the list. You have to, to get a symbol in there. Um, but the list itself has to be generated by your program, by calling cons or something that uses cons, like list or append or whatever. OK? Um, so back at the ranch, the current value of the table is a list of one element, star table star. OK? Um, if we want to uh, extend this program for multiple tables, then instead of having a variable the table, we'll have a procedure called make table that generates a list and that has just the element, the one element star table star. Um, oops, wrong window. Uh, but I wanted to make these procedures really easy so there's no argument for which table to use in these procedures. So how do we... Um, Look up a key in the table. Well, the first thing we do is we assock the key in cutter of the table. So cutter of a table is an association list. To begin with, it's an empty association list. But that's perfectly OK. We don't have to say null question mark, because a sock is perfectly happy to be given an empty list, in which case it will return what? False, not the empty list. OK, so we say, everybody always asks, why do I have this not here? Why don't I just have the clauses backwards? Um, no a special reason. I just sort of think of uh, not finding it as a kind of base case if I want it to come first in my code. But you could do it in the other order. That'd be fine. And just say if record. So if we didn't find it, here's where we return false. So a sock returned false, we return false also. If we did find it, we don't want to return the key value pair, we just want to return the record. So the trade-off is the user of get doesn't have to know how the table is implemented, doesn't have to know that there are key value pairs involved. But uh, we can no longer distinguish between a value of false in the table and no value at all. And that's not so unusual. The, the value of false means that there is no value. And you can set something to false to make it have no value effectively. Um, so that's why this says cutter record. The thing that it's taking cutter of is a key value pair, and the cutter of that is a value. This notion of key value pairs, by the way, we're going to come back to it when we look at MapReduce, because um, that relies heavily also on key value pairs. OK, so a little more interesting is putting um, a value in the table. And we do it also starting with a sock. We want to look up the key in the table. And the reason is, <coughs> if we do two puts for the same key, we don't want to waste memory by having the same key appear in the association list twice. The way a sock works, it starts at the beginning and cutters its way down. So as soon as it finds a key that matches its argument key, um, it will return that key value pair. So any other key value pair that's later in the list and therefore was put in the list earlier has no effect. So we might as well not have two values for the same key. So we look to see if we found the key in the table. Um, if we didn't find the key in the table, then what we want to do is extend the association list with a new element. So we're going to, in that case, create not one but two new pairs. This one is going to have the key and the value. And then this one is going to get spliced into the spine of the association list. 
Okay, that's our goal. So if you look at the line below the one where the cursor is blinking, it says cons, cons. And that's because there's two pairs. If you look up at the picture of the association list on the top, you'll see that for each key value pair, there's a pair right above it, which is part of the spine of the association list. Okay? Um, so we are going to take, um, first we make the key value pair. When I say first, scheme evaluates expressions from the inside out, right? So we're going to first make a key value pair, and then we're going to make a pair whose car is the key value pair we just made, and whose cutter is cutter the table, which is the head of the, the old head of the association list. And then finally, we set cutter the table to that new spine pair that we made. Okay, so we're splicing a new value into the table. Any questions about that? Okay, so um, you should by now be familiar with the idea that when we're building up a list, we build it up kind of from right to left. The, the head of the list is the most recently added member because you make lists by consing onto an existing list recursively. Um, okay, so that's what we do if we didn't find the key in the table. If we do find the key in the table, then our job is simpler. Uh, record is a key value pair in that case, and we just set cutter the key value pair to the new value. So that's changing the table by mutation, not to add something, um, but to change something that's already in it. Okay, so notice it doesn't say, the first one said set cutter the table. The table is that yellow pair up there. Um, this time we're saying set cutter record, which is the value returned by a sock. So it's a key value pair. Questions about this? Great, okay, so what would we do if we wanted to have more than one table? Well, we would just add an extra argument to get and put called table, and every place where it says the table, we'd just use the argument table instead. So we could have lots of tables, each one would be a pair, like that yellow pair, with a star table, star in the car, and the association list in the cutter. By the way, why is it star, table, star? Um, it's an old, old Lisp convention, which I don't think they follow anywhere else in this text, that um, sort of manifest constants, symbols that are not variables, but just used in themselves, have stars around their name. Um, it's like declaring something const in languages that have that feature. Um, but it's not a type declaration, it's just a reminder to the programmer. So the stars are not important. We never actually look, nothing in this code ever looks at uh, the car of that header pair, the sentinel node. Um, that's important, or will be important in just a moment when we talk about two-dimensional tables. So even though I said at the beginning that you could use this as a kind of type tagging, in fact, we don't do any type checking. We just assume that the argument that's supposed to be a table is a table, okay?